welcome to my home. I am practicing uh, social uh, distancing and today I'm going to tell you the story of the invention of the electric light bulb. Now for many years, especially from the 1930s to the 1940s, to get business into Pearl River there were constant articles uh, that were erroneous at best but were not accurate concerning the invention of the electric light bulb and the founder of the town Julius Bronsdorf. When Bronsdorf uh, came to this country he was already uh, an a tinkerer and inventor of mechanical devices. Uh, by the time he came to Pearl River in 1869 he had in a number of US patents and had invented a uh, small 16 by 8 inch dynamo that was much more efficient than anything else that was around and he had invented a type of carbon arc lamp that was used to light the streets of Washington DC. Now carbon arc lamps are extremely bright. It was said that people who were uh, observing the lights in Washington DC at night that Bronsdorf had put in were able to read newspapers and books under them and this was fascinating to 19th century people. Now there were two brothers who were sea captains in Pearl River and they were D.B. Everett and Ephraim Orcutt and both of them lived back to back. Their uh, houses are still standing on uh, the head of Old Middletown Road and they were born in Rockland, Maine. They had two friends who would come to visit them in Pearl River named Hudson and Hiram Maxim. Hiram Maxim invented the, the machine gun and Hudson M Maxim invented smokeless gunpowder. But they also worked on electrical inventions. They met Bronsdorf through these two men and Hudson Maxim, Professor Hudson Maxim and Julius Bronsdorf decided that they would create an arc lamp inside of a bulb. They had a working prototype and they in eight, the spring of 1879 well excuse me the winter of 1879 invited uh, anybody who would come from Rockland County to view the uh, area where Defiant Brewery is the factory completely lit up by this new type of light. Now the two uh, old men, they were considered old men, they were in their uh, late 60s, they uh, decided to talk to the papers and not patent the idea. That was a mistake because the uh, sneaky brother Hudson Max, uh, Hiram Maxim took it and in 1880 after Bronsdorf's death patented as his own. What he did was to use a partially uh, drawn vacuum in the arc light which didn't need much of a vacuum and he actually had a working bulb although its commercial uh, failure was uh, unfortunate. Edison on the other hand two to three months later in April decided to patent his electric incandescent bulb and he had drawn a complete vacuum. Because he had drawn a complete vacuum using a bamboo coated filament he had a better economically viable light where the other two gentlemen were almost there but not quite. If they had succeeded they would have been famous and this town would not be the town of friendly people but the the birthplace of the electric incandescent lamp thank you and stay safe and i will be back with another story about the dexter folder company next week